Welcome aboard, folks. Uh, again, here on a, another uh, beautiful, beautiful Friday evening. Uh, I couldn't couldn't quite make out Cat's song. I hope it came clear to you. It didn't come clear to me. But it's too bad if it didn't because it's such a beautiful song not to be heard in its entirety. And I hope that... Uh, I hope that you did hear it, and it, if uh, you didn't, it gets rectified so you can hear it because it's uh, too important to this radio show. Your voice counts, and uh, personally to me, that uh, Cat's songs are uh, very well clear and uh, heard by all. But again, welcome to Your Voice Counts, your host, Phil Turney. I'm in a, uh, a different place tonight. I'm in a different state. Uh, drove here, oh, like 34-hour uh, straight drive, and looking forward to doing this show tonight. Very much so, because I wanted to do it with a good friend of mine, Mr. Merlin Miller. And Mr. Merlin Miller is a uh, not only a good friend, but a patriot, a person that gives most of his life 99% of his life to his country. He loves his country. I have a, a whole lot to say about Marlon, but I'll get that uh, get, get that said in a minute. But I, first, I, I just want to get everything clear about why I do this radio show. I've been doing it for quite a while now, and on this great radio station, RBN, real real news, real talk, real people, because you can't handle the truth. And that's why I'm on this this great radio station, RBN. Thank you, Mr. Stat Miller, for indulging me and getting the truth out about the uh, USS Liberty. The men slaughtered that day by the uh, government of Israel, and that's what this show's, show's all about. It's not about me. It's about them. It's about their families. It's about the men that were they're wounded that day. Yeah, I was a walking wounded. Absolutely, I was a walking wounded. But I'm uh, more mentally wounded than I'll ever be physically wounded. That isn't because that uh, my wounds didn't hurt. That isn't because I didn't bleed. That isn't because I looked at myself and gave myself self-pity, I did not do that. But I always wondered why my government would turn their back on us. They turned their back on us in our greatest of needs. We're being attacked by a foreign government in an act of war against an auxiliary ship. An auxiliary ship means we were not a man of war. We were a very peaceful, peaceful ship in the Mediterranean Sea, doing what our government had ordered us to do. And 34 of my shipmates were slaughtered, were murdered that day by a foreign government. And that foreign government that is bought and paid for by the United States of America. Folks, I hear the music coming on. Hang on. We'll be back in a minute. I have to do some business here. Support your sponsors on RBN. Thank you. God bless you. See you in just a minute. Thank you. Bye. I hear the again. Chlorine, fluoride, pathogens, and more are in the water you drink day to day. Do you want the ability to remove and reduce those harmful things in the water you drink? You can. How? With a Berkey water filter. A complete standalone gravity filter system that requires no electricity and no plumbing. Use for emergencies or for every day. Berkey systems come in seven different sizes. Where can you get one? From GetBerkey.com. That's GetBerkey.com. With the purchase of each system, you get 50% off accessories, such as fluoride filters, water level spigot, and sport bottles. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $25. For a limited time, get 5% off all ceramic systems when you use coupon code RBN. Call Get Berkey at 855-GET-BERKEY. 
That's 855-438-2375. Or visit G-E-T-B-E-R-K-E-Y dot com. That's GetBerkey.com. Don't answer it. How can I stop these annoying collection calls? Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorneys. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you with resources to fight back, stop collection calls, and prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's 800-477-9256 or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. As business becomes more difficult, control of cash and the ability to borrow becomes critical. Working Capital Cash is your greatest insurance and guarantee of financial stability in these uncertain times. Equipment leasing allows you to obtain the income-producing equipment that your business needs and pay for it with tax-free, ever-devaluing dollars. Money that you've already earned and paid taxes on should be sparingly used. That is your reserve capital, safety net. We are also able to buy and lease back equipment that you already own and have depreciated, thereby making more cash available for your present day needs. For a complete comprehensive explanation as to how this financial truth will benefit your business future, call Bob New Incorporated at 888-639-2621, 888-639-2621. Keep your working capital cash reserves and borrowing capability. 888-639-2621 They said that Israeli forces knew not of the liberty's true identity and so they took advantage of the serenity They attacked the silent ship making a 40 foot hole in the starboard killing 34 and wounding almost 200 more They're just sending down the merciless napalm And look like a devil star war And the liberty fell like a wounded and dying lamb The man in the light betrayed Welcome back, folks. Here we go to uh, your voice counts on this uh, wonderful Friday. Wherever you are, uh, I wish you well. I wish your family well. I wish whatever you do in life well. If we all do well in life, it makes each other's lives much, much better. But I wanted, I wanted to say uh, again, it's been um, a long trip uh, in the last 34 to 40 hours to get here and do what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm full of energy and I'm, I'm uh, very happy to do this show, especially for my special guest, Mr. Merlin Miller. We'll get Merlin on in a minute. Uh, Merlin, please hang on, sir. I just have to do some Liberty business and some RBN business and it'll just take a little bit, but I do want to get this said for sure, uh, folks, that, uh, the USS Liberty is, uh, one of the most, highly decorated ships in the annals of the United States uh, naval history for a single uh, combat mission. And, of course, our, our mission wasn't a combat mission. It was a peaceful mission. We were an intelligence ship in international waters on June 8, 1967, when the government of Israel uh, deliberately slaughtered 34 of my shipmates, and I will never forget that. I'll never forget the 174 that were wounded, and I'll never, I'll never ever forget their families, and I never will ever 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 forget them machine gunning our life rafts. We only had three life rafts left in the machine gun. They wanted no survivors, none. Those bullets, those airplanes, 
those torpedoes, those rockets, those cannons were bought and paid for by the United States of America, used against our sons on the high seas. So, folks, if you don't get it now, you never will. Israel's not a friend of the United States. They're not a friend of anybody. They will do exactly what they did uh, to the USS Liberty, to, to anybody that gets in their way. They, they already said that. Ed Hoot Barak, the other day on, on, uh, on television, said no one dare, ever, ever, ever dare attack Israel in the world. That includes the United States of America. So if you want to be dictated dictated to by these people, you can, but I'm not going to. I never will be. I'm here for the benefit of the United States of America. My children, my grandchildren, and their futures, not theirs. It is in, it is in their interest with their two to three to five hundred nuclear weapons to be friends with the world instead of enemies. To be friends with the world instead of enemies. Folks, I got a special a special uh, guest, uh, well, not guest, but a person that I love dearly, John Gadusco, that uh, has got a, a website. Uh, it is tinyurl.com forward slash USS Liberty. It's John uh, Gadusco's site. It's the best site on the, the, this or any uh, website. Is tinyurl.com slash USS Liberty. It is better than Jim Ennis' site. Jim Ennis is, was a former uh, officer aboard the USS Liberty, and he has a lot of garbage on his site, a lot of lies and misconceptions and berating people that he doesn't even know. Disgusting, despicable, dishonest. And outright lies. How he figures he can get by with that, I don't know. Also, another thing, John's wife, his dear wife Betty, fell and hurt her foot, broke her foot. So John's doing all the chores now, John. So good luck with that, sir. And with God's speed, let's let Betty get healed up quick and pray for her, please, folks. And let's get Betty healed up for her. They can be happy, and and uh, John can John can uh, walk her around, and they can walk around the block and enjoy each other's company in the beautiful state of Florida. Also, I want to uh, thank, uh, of course, this radio station, Republic Broadcasting Network, and again, especially uh, uh, John Statmiller for putting together such a great, great staff and crew of people that care about America and love America, and want to be part of America. John has put together such a great, great uh, bunch of people that are hosts on Republic Broadcasting Network and the people that they get as their guests to call in and uh, tell, their, tell their stories, tell what they want to talk about. You know, we don't cut anybody off. Of course, we won't uh, allow any profanity or trying to run uh, other people down. You know, we can all agree to disagree, but we we don't have to run anybody down. There's no there's no re reason to yell or scream or anything like that. We're all adults. We can figure out what we all want to figure out in our own minds. So let's let's be respectful to RBN, to all the hosts and all the guests that come on, and to the people that call into this uh, radio station. Now, to call in, all you have to do is go to 877-488-5350, 877-488-5350. Now, with that being said, I want to go and talk a little bit about my, my guest today. His name is Mr. Merlin Miller, 
And Mr. Miller happens to be running for a third pro, uh, third party uh, for the presidency of the United States of America. Yes, that's right, the presidency of the United States of America. And Merlin is making a lot of waves. He's making a lot of friends. He's talking to a lot of people. And people are starting to learn what the real deal is. Thank you, Merlin, for doing that. God bless you so much. God bless your family. Merlin is a graduate of the prestigious military academy at West Point. He was in West Point with uh, none other than uh, General Petraeus, who uh, right now is the head of the CIA, and many other officers I'll let uh, uh, Merlin talk about. And I know how proud Merlin is of his family, and I'm talking about his three daughters, who also graduated from West Point, one of the most prestigious academies that has ever been uh, that has ever been uh, an academy showing respect and honor and dignity for the United States of America. I've always respected West Point as I do, of course, the Naval Academy, uh, the Air Force Academy, the Merchant Marine Academy and all the other academies that, that go on that, have, that bring out these great officers and, uh, and uh, to lead our men and women into battle. So with uh, that being said, Merlin, I, I could give you uh, some more information about yourself, but I know you're a motion picture producer and that you're... Uh, currently working on a film about the USS Liberty. Uh, God bless you, Merlin, and welcome to Your Voice Counts. Please come on, sir. Thank you, Phil. It's an honor to be on your show again. I, I do appreciate it. And uh, Sorry to hear about uh, Betty Jadesco. You know, John and Betty are good friends and, and real patriots. And uh, uh, Please uh, pass on. If they're listening tonight, I hope they, uh, they hear that they certainly have our our blessings, you know, and uh, we, we pray that everything goes well for Betty. Uh, great people. He's done so much, I know, for the Liberty Crew and uh, had been a part of the Liberty Crew before, of course, the the attack uh, in 1967. But uh, it is an honor to be on your show, Phil, and a lot of things are happening right now. I, I think the tide is turning in favor of uh, patriots for this country again, but uh, it's still an uphill battle for us. Uh, it, it is. It is, Merlin. It's, it's an uphill battle, but, you know, slowly... But surely the people of, of this great, this great wonderful uh, country that we're so fortunate to be born in are learning about the real truth, about what has made this country not so great anymore. And uh, that truth and learning is not fiction. It's not something we just made up. It's real facts. And, and the facts are that certain people have a lot of power in this country. They have enough power to murder Americans on the high seas and get by with it. They have enough power to influence our Congress and get by with it. They have enough power to influence all presidents and get by with it. They have enough power to uh, overcome the movie uh a movie uh, a picture industry in this country and get by with it. They have enough power to uh, put words in Rush Limbaugh's mouth as well as uh, Bill O'Reilly and many, many others. Let's put 99% of them and they will go along with the Zionist agenda for the state of Israel. Now that's a very sad, sad commentary for this country. Merlin, in, in, your, in, your, uh, in your days of in becoming a, a United States officer, of the military academy at West Point, where are we going to go from here? Well, well Phil, I think it just takes uh, shows like yours, people standing up and speaking truths. And uh, I'm on the road myself right now. Yeah. 
musician, the music coming on. Folks, hang on. In an emergency situation, would you drink contaminated water? You could if you had the amazing Life Straw from MyPatriotSupply.com. Life Straw is the most advanced personal water filter available today. It filters contaminated water from almost any source. Life Straw is lightweight and compact, perfect for hiking, camping, or in an emergency like a flood. Life Straw is easy to clean, comes with a one-year warranty, and has been used worldwide since 2005. Get the amazing Life Straw personal water filter at MyPatriotSupply.com. Plus, check out Survival Seed Vault, 20 seed varieties for only $37.95, Tatler canning lids, long-term storable foods as low as $69.95, and much more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Enjoy stress-free shipping on all orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927 or visit MyPatriotSupply.com. That's 866-229-0927, MyPatriotSupply.com. For emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Do you flinch when a police car appears in your rearview mirror or you get pulled over? Are you squeamish when an envelope arrives in the mail with a return address of a court, a government agency like the IRS, or some law firm? Would you like to escape government agency harassment? Then visit escapeharassment.com. George Bush allegedly says, the government constitution is nothing but a doggone piece of paper. Well, that's a contract. A contract is an offer acceptance of that offer, at which point a contract arrives by law and the offerer can no longer withdraw the offer. We teach, do not accept. That way there is no contract or agreement for you to go to their court or private club meeting. To escape government agency harassment like the IRS, visit escapeharassment.com. This is a tried and proven experienced process. Not experimental with a money-back guarantee that it works and success testimonials from previous students. Remember, escapeharassment.com. That's escapeharassment.com. If you would like to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience your body healing itself. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to your voice counts. It is approximately uh, 23 minutes after the hour. It is, uh, you know, a great pleasure to, uh, again, host this show, Your Voice Counts, by Phil Turney, U.S. Liberty Survivor, June 8, 1967. I, I do want to thank uh, Kat uh, Faber and uh, her husband, Rick, and, of course, Ron Kukul, for getting guests. And, of course, uh, Kat, you know, she... Uh, she is the person that uh, really runs this show, along with her husband, Rick, and, of course, Ron Kugel gets a lot of guests for us. And also, uh, James Morris, uh, ushijack.com. Go to this uh, site, ushijack.com. I apologize for uh, putting you in a bad position, uh, Merlin, uh, when we got cut off there, but I didn't hear the music. Uh, but if you'd please go ahead with your uh, comments, I'd appreciate it. Oh, you, you bet, Phil. And you, you're talking about where do we go from here. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of avenues developing for us, and uh, I'm on the road right now, and part of that is for the political campaign that we're running. But I'm in New Jersey on the uh, eastern shore, and uh, uh, I was with a family today that's three generations of Navy, of serving in the Navy. And uh, I've known them for some time, and a couple of them I talked to about the USS Liberty before, and uh, Still a lot of them, it's a very extended family. A lot of them didn't know about it. We were speaking some more about it. And, uh, of course, they're very concerned and upset with not only what happened to the USS Liberty, but what's currently going on in the Middle East. And, uh, uh, you know, the third-generation people are being deployed, uh, you know, multiple times. And uh, I understand in the Navy now they're actually uh, going to be uh, increasing the, the time of deployment. It used to be much shorter, but I'm not sure what the, uh, what the reason that the Navy has is. 
I, I know the the army was trying to cut back the lengths of the deployment. It was pretty successful in doing that, but evidently it's going the other way for the Navy right now. Uh, but more and more people in the services are starting to wake up to the fact that these wars, these perpetual wars that America is fighting, certainly not in our country's best interest or the American people's interest. Uh, they're not constitutional. Uh, they certainly weren't properly declared. Uh, we're, we're fighting these wars for, for Israel, for multinational corporations, uh, uh, perhaps still for oil interest, uh, uh, but certainly not they're, they're not in America's best interest, and more people are starting to wake up to that reality now. And uh, I think that shows like yours and people just word of mouth, just talking about what happened to the liberty, explaining how that connects to our foreign policy, how our foreign policy was hijacked at that time, and uh, a, a key moment in America's history. And that uh, you know, from that moment on, uh, our foreign policy was really not controlled by Americans who had their best interest in, in protecting the American people, but in foreign interests. And you look at it now. You look at the people in the, the State Department. You look at uh, anybody that's really involved in handling our foreign policy, our foreign affairs. Large numbers of dual citizens, dual Israeli citizens, and. Uh, to me, it's unfathomable that we put up with that, that we would allow people that have a loyalty to another country, and when you truly weigh it, it's a first loyalty to another country. Uh, they don't have a first loyalty to America, and they're dictating uh, our foreign policies, and, uh, and that's concerning to me. Uh, I've shared this information with some of my West Point classmates as well. Uh, uh, I've written a treatise, which uh, several of them read uh, a few years ago and uh, didn't believe at all. Their, their heads were in the sand. They really didn't understand what was going on. But I do sense change. I do sense that a lot of them now are starting to pull their head out of the sand. They're getting very concerned. They see these wars stretching on. They see our economy about ready to collapse. Uh, they see the media that is so totally controlled and truths are no longer coming through our mainstream media. Uh, all of these things are building, and the momentum is, is such now that I think more people are going to have the courage to stand up and start saying, hey, let's put America first. Let's start talking truths again. Uh, let's confront this evil that has somehow uh, penetrated America and taking us over, and uh, let's do something about it. Uh, you know, personally, I'm involved in a political campaign. I, I see where both the Democratic and the Republican parties have long ago been taken over by special interests. The vast majority of politicians are owned. They don't serve their constituencies. They're there just to get reelected. Uh, they owe their allegiance to the special interests that keep getting them reelected. Uh, our founding fathers did not envision career politicians. They envisioned the common man representing their area and their constituencies, serving for a short time, and then going back uh, to a normal way of life. And that's no longer the situation in Washington, D.C. Uh, and so we've got uh, complete corruption in our political system. And how do you turn that around? It's, it's not easy. Uh, I see a statesman like Ron Paul who's been fighting for years uh, to, to tell truths and to vote his conscience and to always support our Constitution. And he's been marginalized, he's been attacked, he's been called kooks and everything else, and uh, he's the one true honest statesman that I think uh, I'd love to see in there a lot longer, but unfortunately he's going to be leaving office here pretty soon. I don't know what's going on in the Republican Party and whether a deal might have been struck and, uh, and where Rand Paul sits in all of this, but I really don't see the Republican Party turning it around uh, just yet. Perhaps with enough pressure they will. In lieu of that, we're building a, an alternative party that will represent the American people, and if nothing else, to present the issues that the Republicans and Democrats are not presenting to the American people. Oh, okay, so, Merlin, we got we got another break coming up. Then we got a, a pretty good long run. Uh, uh, thank you, Merlin. Hang on. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, your voice counts on this great radio station, RBN. Because you can handle the truth. Do you need that sustained boost of energy, but want a more natural way of attaining it without the jolt and crash or the jitters you get from coffee and energy drinks? Zoom Tea is the healthy, sugar-free pick-me-up for body, mind, and soul. Does your coffee help you with weight control, mental clarity, anti-cancer properties, or give you an immune system boost? How about helping to stabilize your blood pressure, reduce your cholesterol, and increase your regularity? Now you can have all these health benefits with Zoom Tea. Check out ZoomTea.com or call our friendly staff at 575-936-7000. 
That's 575-936-7000. A one-month supply of Zoom tea is only $20, and you get free shipping. Add Chai Seed to your order for only $12.95 to increase your benefits. Go to ZoomTea.com. That's ZoomTea.com to learn more. Hey, honey, I'm home. I grabbed a newspaper on the way home. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news, and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! Huh. For some reason, the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. If you're the mother of a child with behavior problems, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Janet Lehman. I'm a behavioral therapist and a mom. I know what it's like when the child you love becomes a defiant, out-of-control child who disrespects you. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the Total Transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-583-1093. 1-800-583-1093. That's 1-800-583-1093. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to Your Voice Counts on Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. Real talk, real news, real people. That's why I'm on this radio show, because you can handle the truth. If you want to call in, go ahead and go to 877-488-5350. That's 877-488-5350. Merlin, when you uh, when you dropped off, finish your uh, finish your sentence, please, and then I got a couple questions for you. Oh, you bet, Phil. I was getting a bit long winded there, but uh, talking about the the politics in the country and what we're doing right now is really just trying to get a voice out there, a new voice, a new party that can bring issues to the forefront. And if we can penetrate the mainstream, if we can get some issues out there that the Democrats and Republicans aren't talking about, uh, we see it as being very healthy for the country, and, and perhaps it will force some of these career politicians to deal with these issues. But uh, the American Third Position Party is the party that we're building. Uh, and if people want to look and find out more about it, it's uh, MerlinMiller2012.com. And uh, we're small. We have no uh, you know, real aspirations of having a great deal of impact this year, but we're going to do what we can to stir the pot grow the party so that people will have some alternatives within a few years and uh, and maybe we can make a difference long term for the country and, and hopefully for our kids and grandkids and that, that's what the political movement is all about uh, 
whether a, a coalition effort for Ron Paul could could materialize out of it this year or not, I don't know. But if not, we've got to continue to do something to to build a political movement and a, an alternative to uh, depending on the t- Democrats and the Republicans. Uh, Merlin, you made a, a a very profound statement there. Uh, it depends on the, the uh, Democrats or the Republicans. Well, I guess it depends on if you want to save America, Republicans. Democrats, independents, whatever you want to call them. If you love this country, you better step up to the plate, folks, because we're going down the tubes, and we're going down the tubes real quick. And, you know, Merlin, uh, I know you got a book out. I want you to advertise that book a little bit right right quick, and then i got another question or two for you, please. Sure. Our book is called Our Vision for America, and we look at it as the, the common sense of today. Uh, you know, Thomas Paine had written common sense during the Revolutionary War era to basically be a guide to say what was going on and what needed to happen to get the country on track and uh, you know, to, to defeat the tyrannies of uh, Britain at that time. And now we need to wake Americans up to defeat the tyrannies that are taking over our country and destroying our constitutional republic. So our vision for America really is a book that identifies the problems that are plaguing us and what realistically can we do about it as patriots to stay within the, the bounds of law and our Constitution. And there are all kinds of remedies, all kinds of solutions that we uh, we lay out in this book. And and uh, the book has gotten some great reception. Uh, we're, we're hopeful that we can penetrate the mainstream with it and, and really get a lot of sales. But uh, it's, it's sort of our, our guide for what we're doing politically. And, of course, uh, media, penetrating media is our other big challenge besides the, the political arena. And uh, we, we can discuss a little more about what we're doing on that uh, in terms of the motion picture industry and our project called False Flag, which I think is, is going to be a, a real eye-opener for a lot of people and very entertaining. So hopefully we can penetrate the mainstream with it. Uh, outstanding. I, I appreciate that information, uh, Merlin. And I'll also... Uh, I think you remember back uh, when you and I were at the VFW in, uh, I believe it was in, uh, what was that, Indiana? That was, uh, oh, boy, what what town was that? Uh, uh, oh, my yeah, goodness. I'm, I'm drawing a blank uh, myself, Evan, Phil. But... No, it was, it was Evansville, Indiana. That's right, Evansville. E- Evansville, Indiana. And uh, I remember uh, one of the past commanders come up there. And he was a little bit shaken and perturbed uh, about what was going on. And he said, this this is not going to be held as a political event, uh, especially in his VFW. Well, uh, he soon learned and apologized after his outburst that it wasn't a political event. It was uh, two or three men and women trying to get the truth out about this great land we, we live in. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he was uh, very, very kind uh, in his uh, apology, and I think he, I think he learned a lot, but, uh, a lot. But also, with your classmate, uh, General Petraeus, who now runs the Central Intelligence Agency, the most secret uh, official agency that we know of in this government, uh, excluding the National Security Agency. Now, with you knowing uh, General Petraeus, uh, now a, 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 a secretary officer, uh, what are your, your views of him on uh, Israel and the potential of this government uh, supporting them in an all-out war with Iran? Well, it's very scary to me what's going on right now. Uh, of course, Dave Petraeus is, is one classmate of mine at the CIA, but there's also Martin Dempsey, who's now chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Uh, uh, Marty's a classmate, and, and so is Keith Alexander, who's uh, head of the NSA and the Cyber Command. And these three are probably uh, the, the most successful of our class, especially in terms of government service. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you don't serve in government and get to the highest levels of command unless you've served uh, well, you know, and, and basically that means you, you don't disobey orders. You you abide by the dictates of the, the hierarchy, which, as you know, in our government today is Zionist-controlled, and that's very concerning for me. Uh, 
all of my classmates I consider to be patriots. They're, they're good people. You know, I, I, I knew them and know them to be good people. I know them to be honest and, and are patriots. But at the same time, you know, I see what's going on in the country, and I wish that they would or could do more to turn this around because I see the war drums pounding. I see everything that's going on covertly in our country and especially through our media. Uh, to try to prepare us for war, uh, if, if not against Iran, at least against Syria, and, and building toward an eventual confrontation with Iran. And, and that would just be so destructive for world peace and especially for America. Uh, Iran, of course, has never attacked another country in hundreds of years. And uh, to paint them as an aggressor, uh, of course, uh, their nuclear program is designed for nuclear energy. Uh, they are signatory to the, you know, the the, I forget the name of the organization again, the, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, and of course Israel is not, and Israel we know has nuclear weapons, and their technology was largely developed by uh, having it stolen out of America. So, I mean, the dual standard over in the Middle East is just un unpalatable to me, and uh, and of course it's American dollars that's, uh, that are supporting the state of Israel, their, uh, their military budget, and of course a lot of that is by way of uh, loans, which are, are never repaid, and a lot of it by way of grants. Uh, uh, we need to think America first. Start to put our country first, uh, bring our forces home, stop giving monies to foreign countries. I'm not talking about just Israel. We shouldn't be supporting uh, any of these foreign nations. Uh, we look at uh, being in 140 countries and, of course, still in Europe. Why are we paying for the national defense of all these other countries? Our country is reeling right now. We're having economic problems. We need to, to build our own country back up again. And, uh, uh, and that, to me, doesn't mean isolationism, but it means putting America first. And it means not spending and wasting dollars uh, in all these overseas ad adventures, which are destroying our reputation throughout the world, as, as well as putting the, the lifeblood of our people on the line. Uh, and, of course, bankrupting us at the same time. So uh, I'm, I'm very much in accord with our founding fathers' vision for limited government. We need to somehow shrink the size of the government. That means all of these agencies. It means the NSA. It means the CIA. It means our military. We bring them home. We don't have to have the, the huge forces we have. I believe in a strong military. I believe in a strong research and development budget. But we need to protect our own borders here at home. And there's currently an invasion going on in America, uh, an illegal immigrant invasion going on that's, that's destroying us from within. And if there were truly a war on terror, our borders would not be open to this. And uh, so that, that tells you a lot about the real motives behind what's going on here in the Middle East. Uh, Merlin, very, very well said. And I might add, uh, I read extensively on this uh, before I left Colorado uh, about uh, the uh, the passionate attachment towards Israel and also the spying that goes on uh, between the United States and Israel and it just so happens that your classmate, the head of the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, said that Israel is our greatest abuser of stealing, selling, disputing classified materials. So I think General Petraeus is a patriot. I think he's trying to do the very best job he can in the position he's in and, of course, it's a political position. They can get rid of him any time they want to. But uh, I, do, I, did, I do give them kudos for that, uh, Merlin, and I hope you do too. And, and perhaps, just perhaps, uh, the, uh, the, the very tip of the sword, the very tip of that arrow will penetrate the heart of this government and let everyone know that uh, uh, we are not, uh, we are not the uh, stepchild of Israel and never will be and cannot be ever again. 
Yeah, very well said, Phil. And uh, and going back to Dave Petraeus, he, uh, he he has courage for saying that. And of course, it's very true. And and people in the intelligence world know that. Know that Israel spies on us more than any other country. They they are not our best friends. And of course, it was a creation by the Rothschilds and. Uh, Ultimately, it was designed for uh, world hegemony in the Middle East to be controlled by the international bankers. And uh, uh, you can't just blame the Jewish community in America for what happens simply because I believe the American Jewish community is largely controlled by the efforts of these global elites. And uh, un unfortunately, they do have too much influence. But as far as Dave Petraeus, he's, uh, he also uh, come out uh, talking about the dangers to our troops in the Middle East based on the Israeli-Palestinian situation not being favorably resolved. And America, if we lose our position as being a fair arbiter for peace, which we've largely done over these last 10 years, uh, and then how can we hope to create a scenario for peace in the Middle East? And uh, same with my other classmates, uh, Marty Dempsey. I know he's he's standing up and doing what he can. There's been uh, occasions when I know he's doing everything he can. Uh, and I believe that these patriots are going to stand up and do more and more for our country. And uh, well, it's got to be a uh, house clean that takes place. We've got to get people that are uh, these dual Israeli citizens out of secure positions in our government and put people in there that will put the American people and American interests first again. And uh, that's going to be a painful process, but I hope that it's underway right now. Well, you know, I, I do too, uh, Merlin. And, uh, you know, uh, you and I think uh, uh, in a very patriotic sense, because we, we've served our country uh, honorably, and we have uh, tried to serve our country honorably, in, in, in the uh, private sector, but, you know, when you take that oath to uh, protect our country from all enemies, foreign and domestic, just because you get out of the service does not mean that uh, that right that uh, was given us when we took the oath is gone. And uh, I, I, I know you believe that. I know all servicemen that and women that care about this country believe that. And, you know, with that being said, uh, we have a caller on the line. Merlin, would you mind taking a few calls? No, oh, please. I look forward to it. Okay. Listen, uh, we got Harvey in North Carolina. He's up first. Uh, Harvey, uh, welcome to Your Voice Counts, and thank you for calling in. Appreciate it. What do you, what do you got going on? Hey, uh, Phil, just wanted to call in and tell you the show. Uh I've been listening to it for quite a while now, and it is excellent. Merlin, I like your ideas. Uh, they go right along with mine. The uh, Israel is trying to uh, monopolize and always has the United States and get them to fight the wars for them. And it's time we stand up as Americans and put our foot forward and wake up and realize that the uh, country is just going down, and if we don't do something soon, uh, our country is going to be rock bottom. That's right. No, it's an excellent comment, Harvey, and, and how we best do that, I don't know. There's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, uh, another way, as we mentioned, is our motion picture project, and for me personally, learning about the fate of the USS Liberty uh, when I met uh, one of the survivors, and I, I don't know that I should use his name on the air because he's he's working in an industry where his career could suffer for it, but meeting him and then meeting other Liberty crewmen, going to their reunions, finding out their story and, and how shocking it was to me was an eye-opener, and it led me on an exploration to try to connect other truths. And if we can get that motion picture made, and it's a contemporary story, it, it, it's not set in 1967, it's set today, but it connects what happened to the USS Liberty to what's going on today and how to prevent the war on terror from being escalated into World War III, uh, specifically by trying to aggravate the situation with Iran. Uh, it's an edge-of-your-seat political thriller that uh, we think is going to wake up people uh, and be a very entertaining motion picture that could potentially go viral, uh, could be a game-changer for us. And we need somehow to penetrate media just as much as we do politics and that's why it's so important for motion picture projects and independent companies to get out there and do what they can to tell truths, to tell the things that we aren't getting out of the mainstream media. And uh, you know, the garbage that's coming out of Hollywood has just made us a sick country. We need to fight that somehow. 
I saw a lot of things written in some of the books that uh, was not exact. It was close, but uh, Phil can tell you when he sent me to the bridge and I made my way up to the 04 level, uh, I was there through the entire attack and all night long and into the next morning uh, when the ships finally came to a rescue and I saw everything that happened and, uh, you know, it was just a massacre. And, you know, for 40 years I've never talked about it, always kept it to myself. And until Phil and Ryan uh, finally got me talking about it, I decided to, uh, with Ryan's push, to call in and just, just kind of give you my opinion, you know, a little bit of it. And uh, I don't want to take away from your time. And uh, I'll get with Phil later, and maybe we can get a time we can talk about it. But I do want to tell you, outstanding job, both of you. And uh, I look forward to listening to the shows. And uh, I'll go ahead and turn it back over uh, to oh, Phil. Okay. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news, and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! Huh. For some reason, the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. If you're the mother of a child with behavior problems, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Janet Lehman. I'm a behavioral therapist and a mom. I know what it's like when the child you love becomes a defiant, out-of-control child who disrespects you. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the Total Transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-583-1093. 1-800-583-1093. That's 1-800-583-1093. Are you completely fed up of being dependent on those fat cat electricity monopolies that raise your rates again and again? Are you terrified about how you'll keep your home and family safe when a power crisis happens? 123-slash-power.com has set up a free video presentation that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they are, incompetent lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy, others have called it a cover-up, and you'll be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. The video at 123-slash-power.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret to slash your power bill and beat the electricity monopoly for good. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123-slash-power.com and discover one weird trick to cut your power bill and protect your home. Easy to remember, 123-slash-power.com. Go watch the video now before they shut it down. Again, that's 123-slash-power.com. They said that Israeli forces knew not of the liberty's true identity, and so they took advantage of the serenity. They attacked the silent ship, making a 40-foot hole in the starboard, killing 34 and wounding almost 200 more. They're just sending down merciless nail welcome back folks here we go to your voice counts uh, we got i don't know about uh, three or four minutes to the top of the hour and then we'll start a whole new second hour and harvey uh i know you remember very well 
that day, and I know it's hard for all of us to talk about it, but I need to get you on my radio show uh, to tell your whole story about it. But, you know, the, the disturbing thing about it, Harvey and uh, Merlin, is that uh, uh, the survivors and the, the, the people that have the courage, as uh, Merlin Miller has, to bring out the truth uh, with movies and with books, uh, with speeches, and with heart and soul, is the fact is that uh, the Israelis have the gall, uh, the ADL, the APAC, the Jewish organizations have the gall to call us anti-Semitic when we didn't fire a shot at them and they murdered 34 of our shipmates, wounded 174 others, including myself, and almost murdered the rest of the crew, and our government left, the, left us out there alone. Now, how do you explain that? How does anybody explain that? You're talking about uh, 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 Stranger Than Fiction. Uh, I just, I, no, I just, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And uh, uh, I, just, uh, I just wonder uh, what you would like to add to that, please. Well, first, I, I'd like to, you know, thank Harvey for his service and for his call. You know, he uh, uh, he's another one of these patriots that uh, he needs to have his story told. I mean, uh, the Liberty Cruise story is so important to us. But in terms of, uh, of what's going on and with Israel and, and uh, you know, making sense of it all, I'd look at it as the global elites uh, have no loyalty. They have no patriotism. Uh, money is their god. Uh, uh, they're the benefactors for Israel. They're the ones that control our banking system. They're the ones that own the politicians. They own the media. And unfortunately, because they control the media, uh, they control the public discourse. And they can call us whatever they want to call us and get away with it. And unfortunately, uh, most people uh, accept what they hear in the main, mainstream media as, as truth. And uh, But that is starting to change. People are starting to realize that they're not getting truth from the mainstream media. And we just have to stand true, stand up, stand tall, and, and proclaim the truths as we know them. And uh, more and more people are going to wake up to it and start to listen. Oh, I, I, I agree totally, Merlin. And, and Harvey, I hope you're still there. And uh, I would like uh, my producer, uh, Kat Faber, Faber, excuse me, get a hold of you and uh, get you set up for a for an interview on uh, Your Voice Counts uh, so we can go over a few things that only you and I and a few other guys know. What do you What do you say to that, Harvey? Uh, that sounds good, uh, Phil. Just uh, get in touch with me. And uh, we'll try to set up a time, and I'll try to go back through and write down some topics to talk about. And, uh, again, uh, I didn't want to uh, take away from Merlin, but I did want to call in. Ron's been kicking me every day to uh, call in, so I know he's listening. And I told him I would call in tonight and just say what a great job uh, you're doing. And uh, I'm going to look to have support you from my end. And uh, if you need anything, just give me a call. Oh, okay, Harvey, God bless you, and, and thank you uh, for your service to the United States of America, and especially uh, to the USS Liberty and uh, the, the men that lost their, uh, their, their lives uh, so needlessly in uh, such a short period of time. Uh, they never got a fair shake, and Harvey will get back go here uh merlin and i know we're going to get some more calls even if we don't we got a lot to talk about but uh what i what i'm most interested in is uh, uh your uh your your films and your books and your uh uh, uh your uh, experiences with the people out on the front lines and i know they've been kind to you uh they should be very kind to you because you're a very kind person both uh, you and your wife and your family. So it looks like that uh, we're going to go to a break here in just a minute. And, uh, oh, we missed the break, uh, so uh, I won't mention it, but uh, we'll, we'll go on from here. Now, Merlin, what I wanted to do is uh, uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, your view of America uh, as, as a young man 
uh, uh, going into the one of the greatest institutions in in my mind in in the world as a young man getting getting that opportunity to be a cadet at the uh, 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 West Point uh, Academy and what were your thoughts and what were your dreams and what were your goals and and did they ultimately come true or were they broken? Uh, a little of both. Uh, you know, Phil, I was a product of the American dream. I was raised in Iowa and uh, without advantage, really. My, my parents were poor. They didn't have uh, a nickel, you know, and uh, my dad borrowed the money when he got married and uh, uh, married when they were very young, but they were hardworking. Either one of them had an education. Uh, they did everything they could to raise us kids right, uh, you know, with the Christian values. And growing up in Iowa, things were very conservative. Uh, Walt Disney was my hero growing up and the founding fathers. And uh, we were we were raised with the American dream, and uh, my folks worked uh, to build themselves into the middle class. And to me, that is what has always distinguished America as such a unique country, is we do have that middle class, which serves as a transit for people to, uh, to that want to aspire to a better way of life. They can if they work hard. If they're enterprising, they can do it. And uh, I think America is very unique, and uh, we're losing that now. We're, we're losing that... Uh, I was very fortunate to get to go to the military academy and uh, and graduate from there and then go on and uh, enter into the film industry. Uh, so I've seen things from different perspectives that have really been eye-opening for me. And I, more than anything else, want to fight to preserve uh, for this country the American dream that I experienced so that our kids, our grandkids, have a chance uh, for America to fulfill their dreams. And uh, it can if we don't lose this country, but... Uh, we're under attack in so many different ways. Uh, these wars uh, are just a part of it. You know, what happened to the liberty was a, a part of that whole process of globalization and, and ultimately destroying America. That, I think, is the, the end game. Uh, if they destroy America, they destroy uh, our national sovereignty, they destroy borders, uh, they get their new world order, and it's a 1984 kind of existence that uh, America, certainly if we fold, the rest of the world is going to fall follow suit, and uh, it's, it's going to be pretty much a lost cause for us. So that's why the timing is so critical in our country now for patriots to stand up and say enough is enough. Let's secure our borders. Uh, you know, we were founded until the mid-1960s. We were 90% uh, European-derived, and uh, we have an invasion of illegals going on that is changing the national character of America. We're being bankrupted in the process, and uh, so many other problems we need to address, but my, my goal in life is to do what I can to restore the Constitutional Republic of America so we do have the American dream can live on. Merlin, very well said. As, as our founding fathers uh, wrote the Declaration of Independence and, and uh, uh, how they mentored us to uh, be good men and, and, and women of goodwill, and I know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, as he is mine. So when Jesus Christ comes into bear, how is he going to uh, how is he going to break us away from this evil, evil empire that is destroying mankind? Well, you know, Phil, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and I think your gotta, show a lot gotta, of the... we got a, we got a break coming up. I'm sorry, Marlon. Please hold that thought. Remember, folks, support your sponsors, RBN. Real news, real talk, real people. And uh, stay tuned. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Chlorine, fluoride, pathogens, and more are in the water you drink day to day. Do you want the ability to remove and reduce those harmful things in the water you drink? You can. How? With a Berkey water filter. A complete standalone gravity filter system that requires no electricity and no plumbing. Use for emergencies or for every day. Berkey systems come in seven different sizes. Where can you get one? From GetBerkey.com. That's GetBerkey.com. With the purchase of each system, you get 50% off accessories such as fluoride filters, water level spigot, and sport bottles. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $25. For a limited time, get 5% off all ceramic systems when you use coupon code RBN. Call Get Berkey at 855-GET-BERKEY. That's 855-438-2375. Or visit 
G-E-T-B-E-R-K-E-Y.com. That's GetBerkey.com. Don't answer it. How can I stop these annoying collection calls? Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorneys. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you with the resources to fight back. Stop collection calls and prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's 800-477-9256 or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. As business becomes more difficult, control of cash and the ability to borrow becomes critical. Working Capital Cash is your greatest insurance and guarantee of financial stability in these uncertain times. Equipment leasing allows you to obtain the income producing equipment that your business needs and pay for it with tax free ever devaluing dollars. Money that you've already earned and paid taxes on should be sparingly used. That is your reserve capital, safety net. We are also able to buy and lease back equipment that you already own and have depreciated, thereby making more cash available for your present day needs. For a complete comprehensive explanation as to how this financial truth will benefit your business future, call Bob New Incorporated at 888-639-2621, 888-639-2621. Keep your working capital cash reserves and borrowing capability. 888-639-2621 Well, the time has finally come For the story to be told That should have been listened to A long time ago in 1967, on the eighth day of June, came the attack of the liberty and the needless loss of many of the crew. And the liberty fell like a wounded dying man. Welcome back, folks. Here we go back to uh, Phil Turney. Your voice counts on... Republic Broadcasting Network. Merlin, uh, we had a quite a quite a nice dis discussion as we uh, broke off. And if you would go ahead and uh, and uh, give me the rest of your thoughts, I apologize for the interruption, but you know we have to have commercials. So, what do you think, sir? He dropped. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, something must have happened if uh, Merlin dropped. So uh, I'm sure he'll be calling back in. But, uh, folks, uh, what we were talking about uh, when uh, the break came on was, a, you know, a personal uh, discussion about, uh, you know, what you really believe in. Uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever. But, uh, you know, there's, there's many, many things that enter people's lives as, as we grow daily. Uh, mine was uh, being saved. And a lot of people uh, haven't been saved yet, but I have. And I think, uh, I think most people that, uh, that uh, listen to my radio show or most people that listen to a lot of radio shows would hope they they would be saved. And that is uh, part of the reason I brought that discussion into the context of the uh, USS Liberty. And, uh, you know, uh, Merlin Miller is a... Uh, Merlin Miller is a, uh, a person that has a great faith, great honor, and great 
dignity, great, great dignity as a human being. Now, listen, I've, I've met this guy personally, <laughs> and I've met his wife personally, and I know of his daughters. And I, I know of his background. I know of his faith, and uh, I respect that deeply. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we have Merlin back. Uh, Merlin, are you there? Hello, yes, Phil. Sorry I got disconnected, but uh, no, I've been listening the last couple of minutes, and uh, we do have a spiritual war going on, and, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately the timing is such that it's coming to a head, and uh, I really believe uh, that there is a battle between good and evil raging, and uh, and America is the testing ground. You know, we've, we've got to stand our ground and stand up and, and do the right things, and, you know, people know uh, right from wrong. Good good people do, and uh it's just a question of getting them the facts, getting them the right information. And I, and I do believe that overwhelming numbers of people will stand up and do the right things. Well, you know, uh, that's so interesting. Uh, uh, the good people stand up and do the right things. Now, Merlin, when you were in uh, the academy, and then you've got three daughters that go through the academy, my goodness, uh, there's four people to stand up to the right thing, and uh, y your wife stands up, stands up and did all of them for you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, what is the right thing? Is, is, the right thing to, is the right thing to follow uh, a, a person or a thing uh, or uh, a, a, a bomb in the battle? that does no good for anybody but to injure, maim, and kill. That, that's, that's what I can't uh, seem to fathom anymore. I just, I just, I couldn't, when the ship got hit, I can't fathom it now. I couldn't fathom it at, uh, uh, in the uh, first, first Gulf War, uh, the Iraq War, Afghanistan War, which my son uh, just got out of the Wounded Warrior Program. And he'll he'll probably never be the same. So, uh, what 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 are we doing to America, Merlin? How do we bring back America? I think it's a wake up process, Phil, and uh, it, it is tough. It's tough to determine what the right thing to do is. And as your son and my daughters, and probably ninety nine percent of the people in the military today, and and in our intelligence service and government service, are there trying to do what they think is the right thing, and. Unfortunately, they've, uh, you know, for the last, you know, 50, 60 years, uh, we've gone through a period of brainwashing where people have been fed lies more than they have truths. They, they don't really know what the right thing is anymore. Uh, in our media, uh, our heroes are anti-heroes. Uh, the ones that cheat, the ones that are just out for the end result, tend to be the ones to prevail. And we've been teaching our kids that now for a long time. So... It, it's difficult. We're not grounded as we used to be when we were kids, and, and certainly, uh, you know, if, as you look back in America's history, uh, we were a strong Christian nation uh, founded on our, our Constitution and the, the principles of doing right rather than wrong. Uh, we've kind of lost our way because uh, I don't think people are real clear today on what is the truth, what is really going on, and what really is the right thing to do. And uh, we've got to find those answers individually for ourselves. But uh, as, as we can just, you know, spread the truths around about not only the liberty and what's going on in the Middle East today, but uh, what's happening to our Constitution, you know, it's, it's being shredded by uh, traitorous politicians. Uh, we've got bankers that certainly put their own personal interests before that of, of doing the right thing, doing the ethical thing. Uh, we've got a justice department now. We've got, uh, you know, a justice system that is, is very corrupt, and I think people recognize that. Uh, uh, you just look at uh, what was happening in Washington, D.C., and our people are not being represented. They're waking up to that fact, and they're starting to question. And when you start to question, then hopefully you're going to seek out some truths. And thank goodness we do have the, the Internet. We have... Uh, uh, venues where people can find out information that's not totally controlled through our mainstream media. And uh, you know, as, far, as far as where we go from here, we, we just continue that process of trying to wake people up and, and trying to hopefully educate them to do the right things. And I do think it's critically important that we do get an alternative media. And uh, our film company, Americana Pictures, and we have a website, americana-pictures.com, our goal is to do that, to, to restore good storytelling, you know, right over wrong, heroes, uh, people we can look up to. And if, and if we can inspire our people with 
good things. Uh, uh, we'll be a different different breed of people within another generation, and unfortunately, it may take that long. I, I hope not, but uh, it's a process that's has gone downhill for the last fifty years or so, and we've got to turn that around. And as you know, like turning a ship, you know, you you can't turn it around immediately. It takes time, and uh, we just got to do what we can, Phil. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I'll tell you, it's interesting. I, I love listening to you uh, speak, Merlin. Uh, you're just a great speaker and a, and a very, very intelligent, honest uh, Christian man, and it uh, makes my heart feel uh, it makes my heart feel good to speak to you. And uh, you know, you said one of your favorite heroes is Walt Disney. Well, you know, Walt Disney did so much for us young kids when we were little. And I wish we could have another Walt Disney to come back and to bring these kids back from the abyss of uh, of uh, hating and killing and uh, uh, drug abuse and uh, uh, shooting people on the Internet as they were nothing more than garbage. And I, I think that all this uh, crap that we have on television is nothing but crap. And uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. I'll tell you why I believe it, because I've seen it. And I've, I've seen what happened in Colorado. You've got this idiot, this nut, that goes out and murders 12 people and wounds, wounds uh, 50 or 60 more to make a statement. And, oh, by the way, I understand this fellow's Jewish, by the way, and that uh, he worked for uh, the Big Brothers of uh, 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 Jewish uh, Big Brothers, uh, brothers and sisters, and Jewish or not, he's a murderer. He's a murderer, and he should be tried for his crimes. He should not be allowed to get by with an insanity plea. He should not be uh, allowed to get by with mistaken identity as the Israelis did. He should not uh, get by with what George W. Bush did with uh, weapons of mass des destruction. He should not get by with the same thing that Obama's trying to do and Romney will do with Iran is uh, uh, nuclear uh, weapons. There's no proof of that. People, you know, they get so worked up and they get so uh, brainwashed that they will put our children in harm's way. They're not going to put my children in harm's way. They're not going to put my grandchildren in harm's way, be slaughtered, to be murdered, to be used and abused by a, a foreign government. And that foreign government is a state of Israel. We have a, a caller uh, on the line. No, she hung up. That's okay, Maggie. Maybe next time. But... Uh, uh, Merlin, you know exactly where I'm going with this, and you know why I'm going going that way, and uh, you know the way I feel about it, is that the American people have been used and abused so bad by the state of Israel. It is becoming obscene. It is becoming uh, pornographic, uh, uh, worse than pornographic. And if we don't stop it now, we're going to lose we're going to lose our country. We're going to lose our world. We're going to lose our identity, and possibly uh, the uh, humanity of this great, great nation we live in now. Merlin, we got a uh, we got a break coming up. Hang on, please. As many of you know, natural supplements are fantastic for your body and have zero side effects. You need to restore your body's natural balance. TeraVim strives to carry only the highest quality dietary supplements and natural vitamins that can be beneficial in helping your body recover from the impact of daily stress, allergens, illness, environmental pollution, and the aging process. Why buy from TeraVim? Simple. TeraVim provides a rewards program. Earn $1 for every $10 spent, free health consultations, free shipping on all orders, and an additional 10% discount on every order when you mention the coupon code RBN. Call 866-647-4372.
That's 866-647-4372 or go to TerraVim.com. That's T-E-R-R-A-V-I-M dot com. TerraVim, the best supplements on earth. Do you flinch when a police car appears in your rearview mirror or you get pulled over? Are you squeamish when an envelope arrives in the mail with a return address of a court, a government agency like the IRS, or some law firm? Would you like to escape government agency harassment? Then visit escapeharassment.com. George Bush allegedly says, the government constitution is nothing but a doggone piece of paper. Well, that's a contract. A contract is an offer acceptance of that offer, at which point a contract arrives by law and the offerer can no longer withdraw the offer. We teach, do not accept. That way there is no contract or agreement for you to go to their court or private club meeting. To escape government agency harassment like the IRS, visit escapeharassment.com. This is a tried and proven experienced process, not experimental with a money-back guarantee that it works and success testimonials from previous students. Remember, escapeharassment.com. That's escapeharassment.com. Herbal Healer Academy's new summer specials. Our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Organic liquid iodine, liquid cow, mag, vitamin D, CoQ10 with Hawthorne, colon enhancer, super 2, natural laxative, our exceptional product connects in, memory power and super male and femplex. All on sale for the summer at HerbalHealer.com. Also, 10% off on the HHA Survival Course. This is an important time to have this information. Might save your life. Nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. HerbalHealer.com. Free online newsletter. Quality natural medicine supplier since 1988. We ship the same day you place your order. Free 128-page catalog with your first order. Go to HerbalHealer.com today. HerbalHealer.com Welcome back, folks. Here we go to your voice counts on uh, RBN. Uh, Merlin, I got a little uh, long-winded there. I apologize. But uh, if you could, you know, just uh, follow up and give me a little little guidance here and, and what you think about uh, my thoughts, please. No, what you say, Phil, is that uh, basically we're under assault, and we're under assault in so many different ways. Uh, education, uh, media, politics, justice, these wars that are going on. And I think that it's hard for, for people to round, wrap themselves around is the fact that this is being orchestrated. It's not happening accidentally. The, the fact that the demographics in our country, we've gone from the mid-60s of being 90% European-derived to being 65% European-derived. And uh, somebody born in 1965 is predicted to die as a minority in their own country if they were a 90% uh, part of that majority. And that is bizarre. That does not happen accidentally. Uh, that uh, is the national ID, national character of America is under assault. And uh, that radical transformation is destroying the country. That's only one aspect of it. These wars are destroying the country. Uh, of course, the fact that the Federal Reserve controls our currency, and it's, uh, it's a fiat currency. It's no longer based on gold or silver. It's not issued by our Treasury, but by private bankers who control interest rates. Uh, and uh, when you look at our media, and specifically the media, which I have a lot of experience in, I know there's an agenda at work to destroy the values of the people in this country. And uh, just like the, the, the guy in Colorado that just uh, did this rampage, uh, these are sick people, and these people are, are being made sick by the environments that they're, they're in, and whether it's media that's influencing them, whether it's drugs that's influencing them, all these neg negative evil forces are working in conjunction with one another, 
and it's an orchestrated plan that's being done by a very small minority of people who are not patriots, who couldn't care less about our country and our people. And until the American people can wake up to that fact and wrap their arms around that and not dismiss it as just some silly conspiracy theory, it's not a theory. It's going on. Conspiracies are orchestrated against America. It's very real. And when Americans wake up to that fact and start questioning things that they have not been questioning, uh, I think this will turn around in a hurry, and, and the goodness of this country will rise up and will hopefully provide alternatives rather than the sickness that we're being fed from every quarter. Amen, brother, to that. I'll tell you, I just, uh, you know, uh, our... Uh, Mom and pops around the country, our grandfathers and grandmothers and aunts and uncles send our kids out to the grocery store or to the movie or to buy a hamburger. And are they going to be shot? Are they going to be killed? Uh, the moral decay, the insanity, uh, the stupidity, the... Uh, uh, the uh, the agenda of uh, one religion against the other to destroy and destruct is so powerful, Merlin, not just in uh, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, Iran. It's right here in this country, and, and, and we're not really addressing that issue. And uh, we better start doing it, and we better start doing it right now. You're right, Phil. It's all divide and conquer. And uh, whether it's changing the racial demographics in America, the, the religious demographics, uh, it's all divide and conquer. You bring people in and you play them against each other. And uh, and you can orchestrate whatever you want to orchestrate. And, and that's what's happening. Uh, we no longer know our neighbors. We no longer have faith in, in people doing the right thing because they don't. Uh, and when they're being fed things through the media that uh, that are convincing, especially our young people, that violence, uh, that the dark side of supernatural, uh, they begin to worship all of these things and see this as the normal way of life rather than the realities that, no, you know, we can be a peaceful, loving people. We can do the right thing. And if, if we have those Walt Disney influences out there again, uh, helping our young people to realize that this should be a beautiful world, that we should uh, that we should do the right things, that we should love our neighbors, and uh, and and get out to nature again, and uh, and get back in touch with the, the beauties of the world around us. Uh, those are the things our young people need, and you need that desperately. And uh, I, I don't know where it's going to come from, Phil, but I do think a mass awakening is uh, is just around the corner. Well, I, I do too, uh, Merlin. I think that mass uh, uh, awakening is is going to happen, and it's going to happen soon. And uh, I I got a, a short little story I'll come back with uh, just after the break. But uh, you know, Merlin, uh, I want I want you to think about uh, your future and and where you're headed from here, and uh, then we'll we'll just uh, you know we'll go on. But uh, you're such an influential. Uh, great, great, great speaker. And we got Maggie back on. We'll get Maggie back on when she comes. Uh, we get through the break. But uh, uh, you know, you know, Merlin. I'll tell you what. Uh, it's been my honor. Uh, God bless you. Of course, the show isn't over yet. But to meet you has uh, just been an inspiration in my life. Uh, and to uh, to shake your hand and uh, to be around you is something that uh, I'll always cherish. Uh, cherish. Excuse me. And uh, Folks, uh, we'll be back in about, oh, just a few minutes, uh, uh, you know. Uh. You're listening to the Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. Extend your life with Extendivite. A healthy heart starts with Extendivite. I've always believed that I had to have a strong defense to overcome the new superbugs of today. Extendivite, a seven herb heart protection cocktail, not only helped me to overcome a massive heart attack, but it also has built up my natural immune defenses against colds and flus. Extendivite has so many benefits that we all should be taking Extendivite to build up our defenses 
for what superbugs might emerge yet. So start today, clean out the toxins, and be as healthy as you can be. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Hey, honey, I'm home. I grabbed a newspaper on the way home. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news, and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! Huh. For some reason, the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. If you're the mother of a child with behavior problems, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Janet Lehman. I'm a behavioral therapist and a mom. I know what it's like when the child you love becomes a defiant, out-of-control child who disrespects you. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the Total Transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-583-1093. 1-800-583-1093. That's 1-800-583-1093. They took advantage of the serenity. They attacked the silent ship, making a 40 foot hole in the starboard, killing 34 and wounding almost 200 more. They're just sending down the merciless nail palm to look like a devil star war. And the liberty fell. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to uh, Your Voice Counts on Republic Broadcasting Network. Probably the only, the best radio station on this so-called alternative media. I, I think it's the mainstream media. But I do want to say one thing, and then we're going to go to our guest, is Cat uh, Faber that favor that sings these songs she's been struggling with a few health issues and so on and so forth so if you guys want to you know uh say a few prayers for her and let's try to get her you know healed up and uh make her whole again that would be great and uh you know s send your prayers out to this beautiful beautiful wonderful wonderful woman that i love deeply she's just uh, you don't meet anybody better people than she is, and so uh, just just remember, Cat, your prayers, and uh, make sure that she gets healthy and well again. So, listen, uh, Maggie, you are on the air. You're back online. What is your question to uh, our great guest tonight, Mr. Merlin Miller? Hey, Please go ahead. Hey, hey, Phil, this is Maggie Rod, and I just wanted to call in and say hi to you and hi to Merlin, and I'm so glad both of you are on. And you were saying something earlier, and the one thing that I think people need information on is how to overcome all of the labels that are placed on them, the, the racist, hater, bigot, anti-Semite, xenophobe, homophobe, and white supremacist. How do you overcome those? Because those are the tools, the weapons they use to silence any opposition against them. 
So, Maggie, you know, I think in my experience, you just throw it right back at him. You don't let it bother you. you. You know it's just a device to put you on the defensive. And my best advice is don't go on the defensive. Uh, you throw it back at them in such a way that people realize that they're just trying to silence opposition to their beliefs. And when people really understand that, they'll realize those labels are false labels and, uh, and won't pay much heed to them. Well, I read something, I was reading this book about the cult of the victim, and, and that victim card that is played all the time, that, oh, you can't criticize me, I've been a victim in life, is a very useful strategy on their part, but that's one that I think we need to overlook. Anyway, I, I'm not going to stay on. I just wanted to say hi to you, Phil, and I just appreciate so much hearing what you have to say. I'm telling everybody about your show. Well, well, Maggie, uh, I, I appreciate, uh, you know, you putting the word out about the show, and I appreciate you uh, with that great call uh, to Merlin. But, you know, uh, you know, you make a very, very good point, and Merlin uh, answered it about as good as you can. Just throw it back at him. You know, uh, listen, uh, we're not out here to, you know, to start problems. We're not the problem uh, starters. We're the problem solvers. Absolutely. So, so, uh, well, well, th thank you, Maggie. And what we want to do is, uh, you know, get all of us together, uh, you know, like-minded people that, uh, and uh, most like-minded people that love America, that love God, that love their country. It shouldn't be hard to get too many people together to, uh, to figure out a way to fix this country. And, you know, uh, with, with Merlin running for president of the United States of America, and uh, everybody knows he's not going to get elected. Uh, and uh, not in personal, Merlin, you know that already. But, uh, you know, uh, he's doing this uh, to make a statement to let everybody know that, hey, there are, there are choices out there. There are choices. And, uh, Merlin, I'll let you pick up from that. Sure, Phil. You know, politically, you know, we, we know we aren't going to have much impact. But uh, I think if people realize that voting the lesser of the two evils is still voting evil, and we can't accept that. We can't accept it from the Democrats or the Republicans. And if neither party will give us what the American people deserve, then the American people have to look elsewhere and build alternatives, whether it's third parties, independent efforts. Uh, we got to do something else to, to find people that are going to take care of the American people and, and not continue to serve evil. Uh, politically, I'm only going to be involved in this until November, until the election. Uh, we're already on the, the ballot in Colorado. Thanks largely to your help, Phil. You were instrumental in getting us on the ballot there. It's not easy for an independent party to get on the ballot in a lot of states. Uh, we're very close now in New Jersey and uh, uh, Arkansas and in Tennessee, and we hope that by the time election comes around, we'll be on the ballot in about a dozen states. And uh, that's pretty significant for the first time a new political party has gone for a national campaign. And even if we don't have much success nationally, we do hope that by building the party, we can build it up so two years from now, perhaps a lot of people will be running for local office, for state office, and for the, the Congress and the Senate. And uh, maybe alternative parties can make an impact in, in the representation we're getting in Washington, D.C. But personally, as far as my future, you, you alerted to earlier, uh, I, I look not to be in politics beyond November. I, I did this because I was recruited for this party, and, and I'm very uncomfortable doing it. Uh, but I'm doing it because I, I think it can have a, a positive outcome in some way for us. Uh, after November, I look to get back into motion picture producing, and my goal is to get false flag produced this next year. It's a very critical time for our country, and it's a very critical project. If people want to read it, they can actually read our screenplay at Americana-Pictures.com. False flag screenplay is posted there. And also our treatise, American, uh, The American Dream, is posted there, which is a, a real good connecting of uh, yeah, so I, I hope people will take a look at that. Well, you know, uh, Merlin, a, a lot of people uh, probably don't understand or know because uh, they haven't heard it, but uh, you, you've, you've already been very successful in the movie industry. Uh, Jericho is one of your uh, best projects. Why don't you talk about that a minute? Well, sure. I'm, I'm an independent. You know, I never. I, I went to USC grad school, and uh, a lot of my classmates, uh, the ones that are Jewish, are doing extremely well. The rest of us are out there struggling, but I have had some success getting some independent produced uh, films produced. Uh, Jericho got quite a bit of airplay, won some awards. Uh, 
it's not easy to get them made when you don't have the support of Hollywood. You're, you're an independent out there trying to raise money. Even more difficult than to get it to the public. But a project like False Flag, I think, is going to resonate with the public. It's the kind of project that I think could surprise a lot of people. So that's my my objective this next year is to get that film produced. Well, you know, uh, when you read, uh, wrote the screenplay for uh, False Flag, uh, your mindset was to what? To educate who? Well, really, to entertain first, because I think that's the only way you really reach people is by entertaining them. And if you entertain in the right way, then I think some of the truths and some of the messages of the story can come through. And that was my goal in writing that screenplay, was to get people to to feel like it's something that they've got to see. It's fun. It's an entertaining motion picture, even though it's got its, its drama and its, its tragedies, too. It's still something that hopefully they'll want to watch and, and spread the word about. But then if they can learn not only the liberty story, but learn what's going on in our country today, learn what real heroes should be doing and standing up for the right things, uh, then I think the project can have a, an impact that will resonate with a lot of people. And uh, that's my whole goal with it is to, to wake up a lot of people uh, and do it by entertaining. Because I don't think we can, we can preach. We can't doc do documentaries and sell books and all that. It's, it's not reaching enough people. We've got to penetrate the, the audience that has been dumbed down, you know, the, the mainstream audience out there. We've got to find a way to reach them. Well, you know, you made an uh, interesting uh, uh, one-word comment there, liberty. And uh, liberty has been uh, the main state of this great country from day one, liberty. And I guess we lost Merlin. I guess we lost Merlin. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the 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 main stake of uh, Merlin's uh, film, his uh, screenplay, has been liberty, and liberty along with uh, our founders, our great founders, uh, starting with George Washington. You know, if people would listen to him, folks. If they would listen to his farewell address, that the United States should not be bound or be have a passionate attachment to one country, no matter what country it is. We can be friends with everybody, but not have a stepchild on our door every day asking for milk. Because then you have ten chip, uh, stepchildren. So George Washington was very, very uh, uh, diligent and bright, and uh, a uh, hero of America. And that's where we stand now, in my view. We are standing at the doorstep of a country that has controlled our media. It has controlled our national security. It has controlled three different wars. Iraqi freedom. Iraqi war. And the Afghanistan war. And possibly the last war, a war with Iran. China and and uh, Russia are not going are going to go along with this, folks. If we attack Iran, we attack Russia and China. You want to send your kids in, into that uh, that hell hole that you can't climb out of? I don't. Do you? Iran has not attacked anybody. Israel has two to five hundred nuclear weapons. Don't you think they can take care of themselves? I do. I think they're very capable. Ehud Barak said that the other day. No nation, no country, no person 
better ever, ever, ever mess with Israel. Well, he just did. He, he was talking to America also. They've already proven they will murder Americans on the high seas. They almost murdered me and got by with it. And guess what, folks? The United States of America helped them cover it up. And they're still covering it up. You know why? It's the most controversial, disgraceful, disgusting act of murder on Americans, on the high seas, on the battlefields, anywhere. They got by with it. They got by with cold-blooded, premeditated murder. No one should be allowed to get by with cold-blooded, premeditated murder, murder, not only on Americans, but anybody. Why should they? Because they're Jewish? I don't think so. Did we allow the Germans to try to exterminate the Jews? No. The Americans saved them. The Americans saved the world. Now, did Israel learn a lesson from the Germans? You might ask, what do I mean by that? What I mean is this. You do not harm another human being. You do not starve another human being. You do not starve a hundred, one million, excuse me, one million, seven hundred thousand plus human beings in Palestine. You do not starve them. You do not deprive them of water, clean water. All these kids, all they want is a glass of water. The Israeli settlers throw their dirty diapers and trash into these people's wells. That's what they have to live on. Caterpillar bulldozes their homes. The United States of America pays for all of that. And where does that money come from? Yep, you're right. It comes out of your hard-earned tax money. I don't feel good about it. Do you? Do you feel good about starving children? Do you feel good about uh, uh, starving old ladies? Do you feel good about putting six-year-olds in jail till they're 18, 20, 30 for nothing, for just being Palestinian? Hmm. Boy, oh boy. If that happened in America, what would happen? Just for instance, if you were black, Hispanic, Polish, Ukrainian, or for that matter, American Indian, which I am. Now, most of my brothers are on reservations. You know why? You know why they are? The power of the government. Yeah, they get their stipend every month. Of course they get their stipend. They deserve it. We stole their land. What about the Palestinians? Their land is stolen. It was stolen in 1967 during the Six-Day War when my ship was almost sunk. Almost sunk by our very, very good allies, Israel. 
that would shoot at life rafts, shoot at every man aboard that ship as they were rats trying to leave a ship. Think about it, folks. Think about just standing alone in a building and just having one person with a twenty-two automatic shooting into the building. What are your chances of living? Listen, folks, <clears throat> sorry Merlin um, uh, left, but uh, we'll see you next week. God bless you. Take care, and God bless America. See you. Bye. Hey, honey, I'm home. I grabbed a newspaper on the way home. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news, and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! Huh. For some reason, the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. If you're the mother of a child with behavior problems, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Janet Lehman. I'm a behavioral therapist and a mom. I know what it's like when the child you love becomes a defiant, out-of-control child who disrespects you. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the Total Transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-583-1093. 1-800-583-1093. That's 1-800-583-1093. Hey there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at SlashPower123.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at SlashPower123.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to SlashPower123.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at SlashPower123.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's SlashPower123.com. They said that Israeli forces do not of the liberty's true identity, and so they took advantage of the serenity. They attacked the silent ship, making a 40-foot hole in the starboard, killing 34 and wounding almost 200 more. They're just sending down the merciless nail palm. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to your voice counts. Uh, we got, I don't know, about uh, three or four minutes to the top of the hour, and then we'll start a whole new second hour. And Harvey, uh, I know you remember very well that day, and I know it's hard for all of us to talk about it, but I need to get you on my radio show uh, to tell your whole story about it. But you know, the, the disturbing thing about it, Harvey and uh, Merlin, is that uh, uh, the survivors and the, the, the people that have the courage, as uh, Merlin Miller has, to bring out the truth uh, with movies and with books, uh, with speeches, and with heart and soul, 
is the fact is that the, uh, the Israelis have the gall, uh, the ADL, the APAC, the Jewish organizations have the gall to call us anti-Semitic. When we didn't fire a shot at them and they murdered 34 of our shipmates, wounded 174 others, including myself, and almost murdered the rest of the crew, and our government left us out there alone. Now, how do you explain that? How does any of you explain that? You're talking about uh, 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 strangers in fiction. Uh, I just, I, no, I just, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And uh, uh, I, just, uh, I just wonder uh, what you would like to add to that, please. Well, first, I, I'd like to, you know, thank Harvey for his service and for his call. You know, he uh, uh, he's another one of these patriots that uh, he needs to have his story told. I mean, uh, the Liberty Cruise story is so important to us. But in terms of, uh, of what's going on and with Israel and, and uh, you know, making sense of it all, I'd look at it as the global elites uh, have no loyalty. They have no patriotism. Uh, money is their god. Uh, uh, they're the benefactors for Israel. They're the ones that control our banking system. They're the ones that own the politicians. They own the media. And unfortunately, because they control the media, uh, they control the public discourse. And they can call us whatever they want to call us and get away with it. And unfortunately, uh, most people uh, accept what they hear in the main, mainstream media as, as truth. And uh, But that is starting to change. People are starting to realize that they're not getting truth from the mainstream media. And, we just have to stand true, stand up, stand tall, and, and proclaim the truths as we know them. And uh, more and more people are going to wake up to it and start to listen. Oh, I, I, I agree totally, Merlin. And, and Harvey, I hope you're still there. And uh, I would like uh, my producer, uh, Kat Faber, Faber, excuse me, get a hold of you and uh, get you set up for a for an interview on uh, Your Voice Counts uh, so we can go over a few things that only – you and I and a few other guys know. What do you What do you say to that, Harvey? Uh, that sounds good, uh, Phil. Just uh, get in touch with me, and uh, we'll try to set up a time, and I'll try to go back through and write down some topics to talk about. And, uh, again, uh, I didn't want to uh, take away from Merlin, but I did want to call in. Ron's been kicking me every day to... Uh, call in so I know he's listening and I told him I would call in tonight and just say what a great job uh, you're doing and uh, I'm going to look to support you from my end and uh, if you need anything just give me a call oh, okay Harvey God bless you and, and thank you uh, for your service to the United States of America and especially uh, to the USS Liberty and uh, the, the men that lost their, uh, their, their lives uh, so needlessly and uh, such a short period of time, uh, they never got a fair shake, and Harvey will get.